The Chinese Lunar Exploration Program CLEP, Chinese, Zhang Guo Tan Yu Pinyin, Zhang Guo Tan Yue, also known as the Chang'e program after the Chinese moon goddess Chang'e, is an ongoing series of robotic moon missions by the China National Space Administration CNSA. The program incorporates lunar orbiters, landers, rovers and sample return spacecraft, launched using Long March rockets. Launches and flights are monitored by a telemetry, tracking, and command system, which uses 50-meter radio antennas in Beijing and 40-meter antennas in Kunming, Shanghai, and Urumqi to form a 3,000-kilometer VLBI antenna. A proprietary ground application system is responsible for downlink data reception. Uyang Ziyuan, a geologist and chemical cosmologist, was among the first to advocate the exploitation not only of known lunar reserves of metals such as titanium, but also of helium-3, an ideal fuel for future nuclear fusion power plants. He currently serves as the chief scientist of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program. Another scientist, Sun Jiadong, was assigned as the general designer, while scientist Sun Zezhao was assigned as the deputy general designer. The leading program manager is Luan Ng. The first spacecraft of the program, the Chang'e 1 Lunar Orbiter, was launched from Xichang Satellite Launch Center on 24 October 2007, having been delayed from the initial planned date of 17–19 April 2007. A second orbiter, Chang'e 2, was launched on 1 October 2010. Chang'e 3, which includes a lander and rover, was launched on 1 December 2013 and successfully soft landed on the Moon on 14 December 2013. It will be followed by a sample return mission, Chang'e 5, scheduled for 2019, as indicated by the official insignia, the shape of a calligraphic nascent lunar crescent with two human footprints at its center reminiscent of the Chinese character Yu for Moon. The ultimate objective of the program is to pave the way for a manned mission to the Moon. Such a mission may occur in 2025 to 2030. Topic program structure The Chinese Lunar Exploration Program is divided into three main operational phases, with each mission serving as a technology demonstrator in preparation for future missions. Topic phase 1, Orbital Missions The first phase entailed the launch of two lunar orbiters, and is now effectively complete. Chang'e 1, launched on 24 October 2007 aboard a Long March 3A rocket, scanned the entire Moon in unprecedented detail, generating a high-definition 3D map that would provide a reference for future soft landings. The probe also mapped the abundance and distribution of various chemical elements on the lunar surface as part of an evaluation of potentially useful resources. Chang'e 2, launched on 1 October 2010 aboard a Long March 3C rocket, reached the Moon in under five days, compared to 12 days for Chang'e 1, and mapped the Moon in even greater detail. It then left lunar orbit and headed for the Earth-Sun L2 Lagrangian point in order to test the TT and C network. Having done that it completed a flyby of asteroid 4179 Tutatis on 13 December 2012, before heading into deep space to further test the TT and C network. Topic phase 2, soft landers, rovers The second phase is ongoing, and incorporates spacecraft capable of soft landing on the Moon and deploying lunar rovers. Chang'e 3, launched on 2 December 2013 aboard a Long March 3B rocket, landed on the Moon on 14 December 2013. It carried with it a 140 kg lunar rover named U2, which was designed to explore an area of 3 square kilometers square miles during a three-month mission. It was also supposed to conduct ultraviolet observations of galaxies, active galactic nuclei, variable stars, binaries, novae, quasars, and blazars, as well as the structure and dynamics of the Earth's plasmosphere. Chang'e 4, originally scheduled for 2015, was a backup for Chang'e 3. However, as a result of the success of that mission, the configuration of Chang'e 4 was adjusted to test equipment in advance of the next mission. Topic phase 3, sample return The final phase will entail a lunar sample return mission. Chang'e 5 T1 was launched on 23 October 2014. It was designed to test the lunar return spacecraft. Chang'e 5, expected to launch in 2019 aboard a Long March 5th rocket, will build on the success of the previous missions, with a lander capable of collecting up to 2 kg of lunar samples and returning them to the Earth. Chang'e 6, expected to launch in 2020 aboard a Long March 5th rocket, will build on the success of the Chang'e 5 mission. 
Topic manned mission As of 2017, China was making preliminary preparations for a manned lunar landing mission around 2036. Topic key technologies Topic Long range TT and C The biggest challenge in phase 1 of the program was the operation of the TT and C system, because its transmission capability needed sufficient range to communicate with the probes in lunar orbit. China's standard satellite telemetry had a range of 80,000 kilometers, 50,000 miles, but the distance between the moon and the earth can exceed 400,000 kilometers, 250,000 miles when the moon is at apogee. In addition, the Chang'e probes had to carry out many attitude maneuvers during their flights to the moon and during operations in lunar orbit. The distance across China from east to west is 5000 kilometers, 3100 miles, forming another challenge to TT and C continuity. At present, the combination of the TT and C system and the Chinese Astronomical Observation Network has met the needs of the Chang'e program, but only by a small margin. Topic environmental adaptability The complexity of the space environment encountered during the Chang'e missions imposed strict requirements for environmental adaptability and reliability of the probes and their instruments. The high radiation environment in Earth-Moon space required hardened electronics to prevent electromagnetic damage to spacecraft instruments. The extreme temperature range, from 130 degrees Celsius 266 degrees Fahrenheit on the side of the spacecraft facing the Sun to minus 170 degrees Celsius minus 274 degrees Fahrenheit on the side facing away from the Sun, imposed strict requirements for temperature control in the design of the detectors. Topic orbit design and flight sequence control Given the conditions of the three-body system of the Earth, Moon and a space probe, the orbit design of lunar orbiters is more complicated than that of Earth-orbiting satellites, which only deal with a two-body system. The Chang'e 1 and Chang'e 2 probes were first sent into highly elliptical Earth orbits. After separating from their launch vehicles, they entered an Earth-Moon transfer orbit through three accelerations in the phase-modulated orbit. These accelerations were conducted 16, 24, and 48 hours into the missions, during which several orbit adjustments and attitude maneuvers were carried out so as to ensure the probe's capture by lunar gravity. After operating in the Earth-Moon orbit for four to five days, each probe entered a lunar acquisition orbit. After entering their target orbits, conducting three braking maneuvers and experiencing three different orbit phases, Chang'e 1 and Chang'e 2 carried out their missions. Topic attitude control Lunar orbiters have to remain properly oriented with respect to the Earth, Moon and Sun. All onboard detectors must be kept facing the lunar surface in order to complete their scientific missions. Communication antennas have to face the Earth in order to receive commands and transfer scientific data, and solar panels must be oriented toward the Sun in order to acquire power. During lunar orbit, the Earth, the Moon and the Sun also move, so attitude control is a complex three-vector control process. The Chang'e satellites need to adjust their attitude very carefully to maintain an optimal angle towards all three bodies. Topic. Hazard avoidance During the second phase of the program, in which the spacecraft were required to soft land on the lunar surface, it was necessary to devise a system of automatic hazard avoidance in order that the landers would not attempt to touch down on unsuitable terrain. Chang'e 3 utilized a computer vision system in which the data from a down-facing camera, as well as two ranging devices, were processed using specialized software. The software controlled the final stages of descent, adjusting the attitude of the spacecraft and the throttle of its main engine. The spacecraft hovered first at 100 meters 330 feet, then at 30 meters 98 feet, as it searched for a suitable spot to set down. The U-2 rover is also equipped with front-facing stereo cameras and hazard avoidance technology. Topic. Potential cooperation with Russia Anatoly Permanov, head of the Russian Federal Space Agency, revealed in September 2006 in Ria Novosti that Russia and China were working on lunar exploration as partners, and that the Russian-Chinese Space Subcommission's priority was to conclude a joint lunar exploration agreement by the end of that year. See also Chinese Space Program List of current and future lunar missions List of proposed missions to the Moon List of missions to the Moon Robotic exploration of the Moon 
Topic. References. Topic. External links. CLEP official website. Encyclopedia Astronautica. The Scientific Objectives of Chinese Lunar Exploration Project by Uyang Ziyuan Wo Guo Fa Shi Shou Kei Tan Yu Wei Xing Zuan Ti Chong A Tan Yu Zuan